In a world where consumers are growing more aware of sustainable products, many governments have mandates on sustainability, and more and more companies are producing sustainable products, Siemens Mechanical Design can help us achieve our sustainability goals with a combination of NX and Solid Edge. Here we have our sewing machine assembly produced in Solid Edge, ready for sustainability analysis. We will be sending the assembly to NX for sustainable impact analysis on a few key parts. Team Center Share can be used as our collaboration tool for sharing the design with our engineer using NX with various permission levels. We can quickly open the shared Solid Edge assembly in NX and using the HD 3D visual reporting, we can analyze details quickly through the entire assembly and can see details like materials have transferred seamlessly over from Solid Edge. We can also quickly open a part of interest and begin to calculate sustainability scores. With materials assigned, we can calculate the sustainability scores of multiple KPIs. For these raw material scores, we can highlight scores for nominal, recycled, and renewable versions of the materials. Scores are produced quickly, and we can see the scores for the assigned material, in this case a nominal steel, but also the potential impact of recycled or renewable versions of the material. Here we see scores for CO2 footprint, total non-renewable energy use, freshwater consumption, human toxicity, and freshwater eutrophication for the bottom plate of this sewing machine. For this example, we will highlight the carbon footprint in the design workflow. After calculating scores for multiple parts of interest, we can quickly run reports around these scores to see potential areas of interest that can improve sustainable design. We can see the mainframe component has a high CO2 footprint and there is interest in making this assembly more lightweight overall. This large mainframe is a good candidate for lightweighting, but we can also explore a material change from steel for the base plate as well. The needed design changes can easily be communicated via the view and markup in Team Center Share. Tasks can easily be assigned inside Team Center Share to track the progress of the project. The same markups can be viewed directly inside Solid Edge. And luckily for us, Solid Edge makes the changes a breeze. We can quickly swap the bottom plate material to aluminum. With the help of generative design inside Solid Edge, we can quickly reduce the weight of our main frame component while keeping key performance parameters intact. Back in NX, we'll integrate the new design revision back into the top level assembly using the interoperability between Solid Edge and NX. Running the sustainability score again on the mainframe component, we can see after calculating the sustainability scores on the updated part that the total estimated carbon footprint for the raw material of this part has reduced nearly 56 kilograms. When recalculating sustainability scores for our base plate, we can see the new material has increased the carbon footprint by more than 14 kg despite making the assembly lighter. In this case, we can explore the trade-offs and whether this is the right choice to make for this part. We can see in the calculated scores though that an alternative version of the material could provide a solution as the recycled version has a carbon footprint that is almost 7 kg less than our original steel and will also provide us with the same light weighting benefits that we originally sought out with this design change. This feedback along with results from the reports can be reported back to our designer via the messaging tool in Team Center Share and the task can be completed. So there you have it an NX and Solid Edge interoperability workflow for seamless and collaborative sustainable design, allowing engineers to explore and design more sustainable products together.